It's been a hard slog through 46 league games and two semi-final legs. Now it's a championship playoff final for the two Uniteds of Harchester and West Ham. For the victors, ecstasy and a return to the land of milk and honey, the Premiership. For the vanquished, nothing but heartache and despair. John, there you are. Mordred is upstairs going mad. You're supposed to be taking the schmoozing off his plate. Come on. Well, I can't park here. I need to take this room back. Just leave the keys in the ignition. We've got an allocated parking space. I'll have one of the stewards take care of it. Right, where'd you want him? Look, I haven't got time for this. What are you talking about? This is your job. Ready to roll? Okay. I have to get to my car. What? Look, your car's fine. We left it with the stewards. Trust these people. Can we get going on this? Yes, we're ready. And five, four, three, two. Good afternoon. I'm here with the West Ham Director of Football and, of course, the former Harchester manager, Don Barker. Don, any mixed emotions for you today? So I guess there's no love loss between you and your own team. Donald's been working with the team all week on tactics. And after all, he doesn't know a thing or two about Harchester. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, excuse me a moment, would you? Where are you going? Well, it's just a cut to me. I have to speak to my manager. May I remind you that we're paying you an awful lot of money to represent this club? And may I remind you, that is part of my remit, to get this club back into the Premiership. Now what's more important to you? That, or keeping them sweet? Hold it! What is it? Graham Naismith, I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. Murder? Oh, now you lot are in trouble. My lawyer is going to sue you all the way to the bank. There's a body in the room. What? A body? It's the Harchester player, Carl Fletcher. Will you? Uh -huh. The national anthem with more pride than Danny Sullivan, no more controversial a character inside this stadium than Don Barker. The Harchester United side, Ryan Naismith, mysteriously absent from the Harchester skipper. No! Chester really beginning to get a measure of control now in midfield. Alex O'Brien, space in which to turn, purposeful run. O'Brien wants to take the ball on, looking for the room for the shot. Oh, the goal! Lee Presley for Harchester United. They lead in the championship playoff final. Oh, can you believe it? Lee Presley, the man has done it again for Harchester. You! Where's my car? One of your people was supposed to park it. It's not in its space. No, it isn't. Now, where is it? Take it easy. Don't you tell me to take it easy, son. I have your jobs. Now, where is it? It's gone. It's gone. You okay? Oh. Get the paramount. No. You've got to see things where I'm sitting. A man who was to stand trial accused of trying to poison his teammates, who was later bailed by his teammates, turns up dead in the boot of a teammate. Voila.
If I murdered Fletch, would I drive him back here? Huh? It just doesn't make sense. It's not my car. <laughs> the other one, he said it was a West Ham pool car. Why aren't you checking them? We are. Don't you worry about that. Seconds to go until half time. Again, they feed in run of Alexander. Useful cross. And Lee Presley will pick it up here. Sullivan calling for it. Here is Danny Sullivan. West Ham under pressure again here. It's only partially away. It's Carl Kasky. And Kasky again! And off the line by Thomas Repka. How close Harchester came through Carl Kasky to make it 2 0. Jeff Winter has blown the half time whistle. Harchester lead at the break by a goal to nil. And possibly now, Viv Wright and his players just 45 minutes away from the Premiership. Mr Wright, I need a word. Oh, not now, mate. I'm in the middle of a match. Jada, can you take care of this? I think you'll want to hear this. We've found the body of one of your players. Very nice, man. No. Carl Fletcher. Forensics are on their way, but it would appear he's been the victim of foul play. <gasps> she's his fiance. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Scott! No! Look, she's had a bad shock. Take us somewhere quiet. No! I'm not going to go! Scott, I'm sorry. No! Look, you're going to have to be absolutely quiet about this, aren't you? Yeah, of course. The records you requested, sir. What was the license plate number of the car? LT03ZJE. Has it been identified yet? I can't comment on that. Sir. You're not going to believe this. 